Hey everyone, join me being a tour guide to two of my friends visiting Vancouver. So right here, I am showing you where I got off at Science World. That thing that just drove by, that's the SkyTrain station. Super convenient, very cheap and affordable. I myself drive, so I park at the McDonald's here, don't tell anybody my secret. And then I just leave my car there for a few hours and I meet people at Science World. So I'm going to show you what I did with two people in two days visiting Vancouver and what you can also do with your friends. So here we are walking over to like one of the, the False day. Creek Ferries, yes. which is a cute little boat that you can hop also, on and go to, I think, five different other. locations in Vancouver, downtown. So here's the ferry. Here's the ticket. We just bought a one zone. They'll let you know which zone you need, where you want to go. They'll point you in the right direction. They're very awesome people. And this is so cute, and it's only $8. You get great views of the stadium, Science World, Yale Town, Granville Island, Solano, English Bay. You get views of everything. And you can also kayak in this water, so. After our very quick 10 minute ride from right. Science World to Granville Island, we stopped off and now we're just checking out the market. This place has local foods, it has cute little trinkets you can buy. It's just honestly a great place to hang out and then you can eat outside and enjoy the view again. Once we were all done in Granville, we decided to go check out English Bay. So we were taking the ferry to Sunset Beach, and here is our famous cactus club on the beach that's always jam-packed. My friend works here, so I was just visiting. But here's a lovely view of downtown Stanley Park, the mountains, the ocean. And this is a chillier day, so you're just going to see a lot of people just hanging out. There's always people here. But in the summertime, this place gets insane. So I highly recommend taking transit instead of fighting for parking. And one thing you got to know about Vancouver is they love their spike ball. I will not understand the sport, but <laughs> people love it here. I don't know why. Here's a view of Kitsilano across the water, which is a place I love to go to, but... I don't really take too many people there because it's just a lot of walking around. And we didn't have too much time because they were seeing an improv show later that day in Granville. So we're just enjoying this area. And then we're going to go back to Granville so she could catch her show.
after I pointed it in the right direction and dropped her off, I decided to actually walk all the way back to Science World Sky Train Station where I parked my car. So please enjoy this lovely, beautiful walk with me. It took me about an hour and a half because there was construction. Usually it should only take 45 minutes. But it's a really nice walk, flat ground, and you get beautiful views of the cherry blossoms if they're in season. Also, all the people riding their bikes, walking their dogs, and the water. At every station you will see these machines to the left of the camera and that's where you can buy a single ticket, you can buy a compass card, which is what I'm going to use today. And I just load this card up, it's super easy. And boom, there you go. This is day one. Now let's go to day two of showing a different thing. So next day I decided to meet one of my other friends at the Burrard Skytrain station. So we walked over to this gothic, kinky ice cream shop. So definitely check this place out if you want the aesthetic of a crazy ice cream, if you know what I mean. I was feeling a little campy, so I got the s'more one. It, the ice cream part was so good, but I'm not a fan of marshmallow, actually. So, <laughs> anyways, we ended up walking over towards Waterfront Skytrain Station because I love the walk here. You can see the airplanes landing on the water. You can see Stanley Park, North Vancouver Mountains. It is so beautiful. And our second most famous cactus club is actually here. <laughs> so I love this walk. Highly recommend. So cool to see the airplanes land and take off. And from that area near Waterfront, we walked over to Gastown, famous Gassy. And they just installed a Lucky's donut shop here. So I had to show him one of our most famous donuts. Oh my god, did I say Lucky's? I meant Lee's. What the heck is Lucky's? <laughs> I don't even know. 
And once we came out, the clock finally blew its horn and we got to see the steam. But of course I didn't catch it on video. Uh, just look it up on YouTube. I bet a million people have recorded this thing. Or just check it out in person. <laughs> so I told him that there's actually a ferry boat, a big one, that kind of acts as a train, but it takes you to North Vancouver. So I wanted to treat him with it and we just went, hopped on. As you can see, the guy up there at the very top is gonna wave at me. <laughs> so funny. I can't believe I caught that on camera. Oh, look, somebody's up there. But yeah, if you ever wanna <laughs> get from downtown to northbound, this is super easy, very convenient, <laughs> almost the same price as a bus. Maybe you can go up and hang out with the camera. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's probably the first It was a very rainy, rainy back. evening, so we just stayed on the bus and yeah, enjoyed the ride. This view now. So thank y'all for watching and I hope you enjoy Vancouver when you come to visit or yeah, got really some cute, exploration actually. on what to do with your family and friends when they come. Honestly, there's so many things to see downtown and these little rides are just so much fun and such an experience they're never going to forget. I brought my grandma here, my babcha, five years ago and she still remembers the ferry boat ride. <laughs> So totally enjoy. Check out my other videos if you want to know other ideas on how to actually do like a one week vacation trip in Vancouver. I have a whole other thing on that that I posted a year ago. Thank y'all so much and enjoy.